This is my buddy, Austin, bus or bus boy. We became friends when we both worked at this camera store. They were for sure good times. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We hiked, we laughed, we shot photos, a lot of photos. When we both left the camera store, we stayed in touch and kept shooting. But that's all coming into an end. He's moving across the country next week to Ottawa. So we decided to do one last hurrah, one last hike. So we set a date, March 12th, the last hike. We planned to do a simple hike and we decided to pick Elk Mountain. We wake up late, pack our gear, and set out, stopping for gas before we ascend. Question, what is your pin number and credit card number? Uh, one, two, three, uh, eat a car. We start up the mountain road. About halfway up, bus says we're gonna take a shortcut. Proceeds to put the Tacoma's reputation to the test, taking us up a steep, weather battered road for about two kilometers. With the shortcut taken, we park and gear up. Cameras are grabbed, jackets are zipped. Then, we're off. The trail starts fine. It's, it's a nice walk in the woods for the first few kilometers. Then, the snow starts showing up. No issues so far. But when we reach the mid-level viewpoint, we drop our bags, throw on an extra layer of clothes, and are surprised by a flock of birds hungrily awaiting what may be in our packs. They swarm around us, racing to snatch up the peanuts from our outstretched palms. They eat their fill, they move on, and so do we. This is where things turned. We are warned by one hiker descending that we can't go much further, as the trail becomes too icy and treacherous to continue. We thank them for the warning, but we tighten our shoes and push on. Then the second sign. A group of four with two dogs, one bushwhacking down far off the trail and the other's butt sliding down along the trail, covered in ice. They warn us again that they tried but only managed another few hundred meters before calling it quits. This is where we started to question if Elk Mountain was the right choice for them. We watch the group fade away into the trees. Austin reaches into his bag, puts on his crampons in preparation for the challenge ahead of us. He turns to me as I don't have any, and I thought this was going to be a simple dry walk in the woods. But nevertheless, I tighten my shoes, cinch my jacket, and leave the trail behind, venturing into the deep snow off the forest path, over trees, rocks, keeping track of busboys who proceeds up the icy trail. We slip, I stumble, as I crawl my way up the final stretch of Elk Mountain. But our efforts prove fruitful. 20 minutes of bushwhacking and slipping up the path, we hit the freezing point again, and the ice turns back to snow. And I'm back on the path, and we're full steam ahead to the summit. Austin, how is it? The wind howls louder. The snow falls faster. With each turn of the trail, we pass through into snow fields of Elk Mountain. Nothing but white to be seen as we scout the final ridge line. The summit is surprising for sure. Neither of us were expecting to be blessed with this beautiful scenery. We shoot fast. You stand there. Turn this way. Look at that. Go stand in that field. 
You like this? No, <laughs> definitely did not. Here, go sit there. At this point, I pause. My breathing gets deeper as I try to stay warm. This is great. This is not what I was expecting, but it's everything I wanted of the last hurrah of Setter and Busboy. I smile, squint into the wind, and let out that deep breath. As the wind peaks, we brace ourselves against its force, holding our hats down. Austin turns to me, clipping his camera back to his bag. Mission accomplished. Let's get out of here. Yeah, it's time to go. We got what we came here for. Good times and good photos, and one last memory. We strap up and turn to head down, but not before one last shot of Elk Mountain. Any words? Talking to anybody. What can I say? <laughs> that is true. Well, I'm gonna switch lenses real quick. Okay. The trail down is so much worse. Gravity is against us now. We do descend much faster, but our added speed causes us to slip. But a little wet, muddy, and sore, we reach the bottom. We pack back into the taco and enjoy the remaining snacks the birds left us on the last ride back. We part ways, bidding each other goodbye. You better send me those shots, bro. That was two weeks ago. Today, Busboy leaves to drive across the country to his new life, new adventures, and new photos. I wonder if he'll get any good photos without the mountains of BC at his back. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I guess we should probably turn on post notifications, you know, to know when he shoots next. Thank you guys so much for watching this. This was kind of a little bit testing my storytelling abilities and kind of just having fun and paying tribute to uh, a good friend of mine and uh, some good times. So thank you, Austin, for all the great times. And thank you all for watching some of these great times. And my name has been Reese Setter, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Mahalo, my dude. Wow, wowie, wowie, wow. All right, let's bounce.